Hey, what's up, everybody? Vince Wright, the sports governor from the great state of Minnesota. Join the rest of us sports zombies on Two Live Stews Radio. That's right, the boys are back. Doug, Ryan, and the rest of us, including me, the sports governor of Minnesota, Vince Wright, also known to the ladies as the Big Smooth. Keep it tuned here. That's right, Two Live Stews Radio. Music artist, lend me your ear. Looking for that hot beat to make your next hit? Go to farljarromusic.com. Tired of paying for overpriced studio time for mediocre beats? Go to farljarromusic.com. Farljarromusic.com offers industry quality hip hop, trap, R&B, and pop beats that will take your creativity to the next level. We know it's hard to find dope beats out there, so don't waste any more time searching YouTube or whack beat selling websites. Go, go to farljarmusic.com today to cop the beat for your next hit. Mixing and mastering services available too. Once again, go to farljarmusic.com. That's F A double R O J A double R O music.com for the hottest beats in the game. This is number one Chief Rocket Jersey Vern on a recap Monday doing his recap show. We're going to talk about sports, entertainment. We're going to have call interviews on the spot calls. This is just a show that will bring nothing but passion and joy and understanding to all the listeners on the Two Live Studios radio platform. The number one Chief Rocker, Jersey Vern. This is Key C from the Kicking It With Key C Show. show. On the newly rebranded Two Live Studios radio radio radio. We'll continue to bring you the hottest, hottest, most interesting interesting guests guests, and commentary commentary in the areas of social, 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 politics, 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 culture, 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 music, 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 and more. 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 Continue Continue to tune in. Let's go give it to you. Yo, what's good? This is Trey Frazier on Phil Stav. This is the Barbershop Sports Talk Podcast. Make sure y'all tune in to us every Tuesday night, 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is your man, Jelani J.B. Bode, of course, again. It's the Wait a Minute Show. Me and my man, Lopan. Lopan, tell him what's up. So, uh, as you heard, all these commercials that you heard on here for these podcasts, ladies and gentlemen, you can listen to them on Spreaker.com. So make sure you go back and when you get a chance, listen to some of the other uh, of my colleagues that's in here as well, because they got all different topics that they cover. And we got music, too. So if you just want to jam and all that stuff, DJ Nunu and DJ Queen got you back for it. So like we were saying uh, before the break, we were going to talk about, you know, somebody that Damn, that was quick. I tell us Bennett, man, out of the blue, they they cut this brother. The Packers said, you know what, you're out of there. And I'm like, wow, where did that come from? And come to find out, and, and I still really don't get what this is this is about, so I'll be totally honest. But, you know, they said that there was a failure to disclose med- uh, a medical condition, you know, designation. And I'm like, hmm, we in week 10? And... Were y'all still waiting on that, or or what you, or did did he get hurt, and then you needed to get something? I I I, I don't one hundred percent get it, but basically at the end of the day, it was something that he was supposed to provide, or something that was supposed to be provided for him, and it was not there. So they cut ties, you know, with Martellus Bennett. Now, could this be, you know, maybe something else? Because Martellus is a very very, you know honest guy he's an honest dude he speaks his mind you know mm, not gonna say that because you really didn't hear him say you know too much because i know people will go there and they'll just say oh it must have been this you know he must have been a problem in the you know the locker room remember he was this in dallas and he was this you know in, in new york and now he was this no nah, in chicago no 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 what i i think what this was that they did not um get what they needed but this is another hit to the green bay packers this is another uh and and martellus hadn't did that much but offensively he had never he hadn't done that much putting stats up but he did 
you know, block. Uh, he, he definitely, uh, was not a guy to me. He was not a guy like he was before where, you know, gets frustrated and, and just be like, well, what do you want from me? You know, what is, you know, all this stuff. So, you know, I think he handled it in, in a mature, you know, fashion, but, I also think he will he could get on with another team. Now he had been talking about that this was gonna be his last year anyway. So he might have, you know, been retiring, but you know, guys say stuff and then you know things change. They're allowed to change their mind if they want to, but the Green Bay Packers are definitely in a little bit of trouble. They are well, not a little bit, they are uh in trouble. Uh they really didn't get too much from Lance Kendricks and and, and Richard Rogers. And maybe, you know, Lance will step up now that uh, Martellus is gone. But they're going to need, you know, both of those guys because Brett Huntley is still trying to figure this out. We were talking about that earlier. You know, you don't have Aaron Rodgers there to to mask, you know, some of your deficiencies on, you know, on your team. It's. But I wonder if he could. Well, yeah, he's been cut, so he could get with a team. Wonder where he could go. Hmm. I would first team that come to mind would be. Whoa, hey Denise, <laughs> sorry. Um, first team that would come to mind would be uh, Detroit Lions. Could definitely use another tight end uh, and, and, and this, I'm thinking this you know kind of off the top of my head in the division you know he's not going to go back to Chicago you know uh Minnesota doesn't need him because he has uh they have uh Kyle Rudolph uh he could literally go back to New England and we've seen you know uh guys do that go back and then all of a sudden ball out you know so he get that's another option you know he could uh, um he could take part in. Um, Denver is a you know a option, but I don't think he really you know would roll with the with the quarterback because they really don't know what their quarterback. An angry black man said he can't be claimed on waivers until four p.m. tomorrow. If not claimed, he will be a free agent. And see, I don't think anybody's going to claim him though. So yeah, I think he's good. I think he will be a free agent. Uh, Atlanta, Atlanta could use some help. I don't know if he would go to Carolina. I mean, Greg Olson is supposed to come back. That's an option. Kobe Fleener really hasn't given him too much in New Orleans. He could go to New Orleans. So, I mean, he's definitely going to go somewhere where I think, he, you know, someone he feels has a chance, you know. And they're going to have a quarterback. Let's just be real. After playing with Tom Brady, He is not trying to go backwards. Not like that. I mean, he's going backwards regardless. I mean, Aaron Rodgers was pretty much parallel, but he's not going back too far. So if you got any Jets fan out there or, you know, don't say Cleveland or something like that. uh, I don't even think he would go to Seattle at this point. I mean, Jimmy Graham is out there, but maybe he would to play, you know, play with his brother. But uh, three, three, four. Batman boy said, "No tight end in Atlanta can catch." <sighs> right now, I can't argue with that. Right now, three, three, four. To Lolo, I mean, he never could. You know, that wasn't his forte. You know, I really thought Austin Hooper was gonna, you know, take over. You know, uh, this tight end spot and, and take it to another level, but it just hasn't worked out. You know, like that. But uh, l- let me do this correctly. Shouts out to Denise Milk and Cookies that's in the building. Denise, stop that, man. Don't be doing that, man. You be doing that to people's shows, man. I see you doing that, man. Stop that. You know, you be messing up shows and all that stuff. But Lopan loves it. Indeed. Yes, you do, Lopan. I can't tell y'all what Denise did, you know, but she know what she did. Shame on you, Denise. Shame on you. But uh, Packers got to do something. Pack in in. Maybe they should send it's a wrap. Let's let's just pack it up, guys, and, and focus on next year. But uh what's going on this year is some folks is showing their tail 
and they are showing their machismo. And what I'm talking about is Jerry Jones. So this story uh, started a couple weeks back, but now it, you know it's kind of grown some legs and it's and it's rolling at this point. So the the whole thing about Jerry Jones was you know that that. The owners had already had this extension put together for Roger Goodell, and they were ready to go on it, and Jerry was not feeling it. Why? Because Jerry gave his boy, Zeke Elliott, six games, and he's just like, nah, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. So now, the owners are trying to get this deal done. Jerry is using his big dog status to be like, nah, it's not happening. And then to show how much of a big dog he is. And when I say big dog, I mean big dog. He said, look, bruh, he gave my man six games. I'm not, I'm not having it. We over here fighting this. He shouldn't have got the six games. Nah, you're not getting, you're not getting that extension. So you know what? We, we didn't want the six games or whatever. And, and you still gave it to us. You don't, you want that money? Nah, we ain't going to give it to you. So now Jerry Jones is, is threatened to sue the NFL and six teams, the owners. And those owners are the New York Giants, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Houston Texans, the Kansas City Chiefs, the New England Patriots, and right here in the ATL, the Atlanta Falcons. That is big dog status right there. So you felt you've been done wrong. You felt that something should be said, something should be did. And you start throwing out, he, he must have some type of, I mean, he he got a power lawyer involved. So he must have some type of, you know, way of, of using this against him. But the other thing is, he didn't go after no riffraffs. He didn't go, and I shouldn't say riffraffs. That's the wrong word to say. He didn't go. There's levels to this M NFL owner uh, league. So he didn't go with a Cleveland Browns. He didn't go with the Jaguars. He didn't go with, you know, uh, you know, go at, you know, somebody like, um, what's another team, you know, that's out there. The Tennessee Titans you know, or anything like that. He went after the big dogs. The guys who have a lot of either input, impact, power, or longevity. Steelers, the Rooney's been around forever. Chiefs, the Hunt's been around forever. McNair, I think that was just probably for his comments. Like, yo, you gonna catch this, son, because you messing it up for all of us with your comments. Patriots? Kraft? Really? Kraft? He went after Kraft? Cheese Kraft? And then he, the Falcons. That, that's a G move to go after the Falcons, and you got a game against them in their house this weekend. Are there, is, is Arthur Blank and Jerry Jones even going to talk? Maybe You know, maybe this is it's not personal. It's business. We've heard that, that term before. You know, New Jack City. The same, you know, well... Ice T said, this is personal, you know, but can, can he really pull this off? Can, can he, could he actually block Goodell from getting an extension? Because if you're blocking him from an extension, then basically you're trying to get him out of there and you want a new commissioner. Who's the new commissioner? Who do you got in mind? Now, people have always talked about Condoleezza Rice. She said she would love to be commissioner of the NFL. She's a big football fan. Knows her stuff. Is that a person? I don't know. I don't know. But if Jerry Jones pulls this thing off, that's that. I mean, that's that's G status right there. That's that's big dog status. Cedric Galloway said in the wait a minute show chat room said Jerry's on that F y'all F all y'all. Yeah. He has made it to a point to where he's just like, I'm, I'm about to show these people what I'm about. He said he basically went. To, he went to training day. 
You'll be playing basketball in Pelican.